Welcome to the Green Chair Interviews. Today we have Harold Jansen from the Department of Political Science joining us. Welcome, Harold. Thank you. Um, today we would like to ask you, what is your philosophy of teaching? It's hard to distill down to uh, sort of a neat little catchphrase, but I think if I had to say the one thing that really guides me is trying to build on what students know. So that means a lot of my classes involve discussion. I need to hear from them to find out what they know and then try to introduce ideas or concepts that try to help organize that experience and raises new questions and helps to assimilate new information. And to me, teaching is all about equipping people to learn for the rest of their lives. And so I find by building on their experience and giving them ideas and things that will help them make sense of it, that hopefully equips them in the long run to make sense of the world and how politics works for the rest of their lives. So that's what really guides me, is finding out what they know and building on that. Okay. So um, you just you mentioned there's a lot of discussion in your classroom. Can you just go through what a typical class of yours looks like? Well, it depends a lot on what, what class. Uh, I really look a lot at what's the goal of the class? What kind of information am I, are we dealing with? Um, what level is it at? What can I assume about the student's knowledge? So different classes will have different mixes of things. So I don't know that I have a typical class, but my classes almost all involve a lot of discussions. There is not a class where I go in and basically just lecture at them for 15 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes. I want to hear what they say and what they think and build on that. Right. That sounds really great. So in your discussions and your activities that you have in the class, is there anything that you've done that has worked really well or on the flip side, anything that maybe hasn't worked so well? The things that have worked well, like I find the discussion thing has, has worked well. Students really like that I want to hear what they have to say and they like that I build on, on, on their experience. So I found that's positive. The flipped classroom experiment, I've done that for two years now in research methods and I have to say that was the biggest risk I ever took okay. teaching just because of the sheer amount of work it took. So that was a huge risk, but the payoff, my students' understanding of the material uh, was uh, their performance on the exam was about a third better than what it had wow. been previously. So that was incredibly gratifying to see. Things that haven't worked well. I still find in my first and second year classes, I'm still not great at incorporating the readings. I'd like to have more, do more stuff in groups. Uh, there are some of my colleagues, and I learn a lot from my colleagues here on campus, do amazing things with group work. And that to me is the really exciting thing about teaching. There's always new things to try. and yeah. I'm. I'm never satisfied and we can still find ways to help them learn better and that's to me what keeps me excited about teaching. There's always new things we can be doing. Right, that sounds really great. Um, so you mentioned you know you spend several hours working on videos preparing for class. Are there any other things that you do to prepare for a class of yours? I use PowerPoint slides like most professors do but I don't do bullet point slides. Okay. I do very graphic oriented slides oh, nice. and just really short, uh, very few words on them. I treat them as like the bold when I'm talking, right? Just to highlight the key point. You know, I get bored doing the same thing over and over again. Oh, yeah. So sometimes it will be as simple as I'll just, I will rewrite or replan a class just to do something a little different to keep it fresh for me. I guess I always find with my students, if I'm excited, it's going to help them get excited about the material. And for me, Absolutely. if I'm just doing the same thing over and over and over, the same way year in and year out, I'm going to lose my excitement pretty quickly. Yeah. And that's not fair to them. I want them to be excited and I want to be excited. I want us to be excited together about the ideas. Wow, well that sounds really, really wonderful. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your experiences with us today. It's my pleasure, thank you very much.